Now for more on China's auto market, let's cross again to Shanghai and speak with James Chow, Asia Pacific Managing Director at IHS Automotive. Thank you for joining us. Now China has the Thank widest you. selection of car brands and models in the world. Which car makers are doing the best in this very competitive market and why? Well, traditionally, the largest car makers in China have been the foreign ones like Volkswagen and General Motors. Uh, but what's been happening over the recent couple of years is that the Chinese brands have been surging, especially in the hot segments like the sport utility vehicle segment, which has really sparked excitement among Chinese consumers. And it's the Chinese brands uh, like Great Wall, um, Geely, and others that have been very successful in this segment. So we're seeing a, a surge, I would say, of the Chinese brands recently here. Now, how much are the needs of Chinese consumers kind of shaping the global auto industry as a whole when it comes to strategy? Well, in terms of strategy, um, what we're seeing is that China is now such a large part of the overall global market. It's 30% of all sales globally, and that's up from the year 2000 of around 4%, so a huge increase. So what does this mean? It means that the strategies of global automakers are uh, driven by the China market. Uh, and this is not only in terms of conventional vehicles that we normally see on the streets, but also in terms of next generation vehicles, like the electric vehicles that we're starting to see more and more of in markets around the world. And as China continues its progress in the electric car market, what sort of improvements are we seeing in the infrastructure for e-cars? Well, infrastructure is one of the key parts to make electric vehicles uh, very popular. And this has been the challenge not only in China, but in markets all over the world. The, 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 the issue is this, is that if you're a consumer, um, where do you charge your vehicle, especially if you're in a city uh, and not in a suburban area where you might not have a garage? Um, so how do, you, how do you charge? So this is a critical issue uh, that certainly the Chinese government is working on with automakers and infrastructure providers. But it's safe to say that at this point, we're not there yet. So given that, can we expect new energy car sales to continue to rise, or do you see them perhaps falling? Well, uh, that's an interesting uh, point. Um, in earlier this year, in January and February of this year, the government had reduced some of the subsidies available to consumers for electric vehicles. And we saw 50% declines year over year in new energy vehicle sales. Uh, and what does that tell us? It tells us that these sales are driven by the incentives that the uh, central government and local governments give to consumers, which can add up to about 100,000 renminbi, which is $15,000 roughly uh, U.S. dollars. So uh, it's really driven by incentives. And, and the bad news is that those incentives are going to be phased out over the next few years. Um, so we'll see what the effect of that is on the market. Now, when people think electric cars, obviously they also think of Tesla. How is Tesla doing in China? And what about these plans that we're hearing for, um, a, for a factory there? Well, Tesla, like other electric vehicle automakers, has enjoyed uh, some of the incentives uh, in terms of subsidies. Um, and the one that they do enjoy, certainly here in China, is uh, the free license plate. So uh, typically, uh, to get a license plate um, in uh, Shanghai uh, takes an auction process. Uh, you could circumvent that with certain electric vehicles, like a Tesla, um, and you'll get a license plate uh, for free uh, with the purchase. Uh, so in that way, it's been popular. Uh, second, I think it's also popular in terms of, you know, it's seen as one of the leaders of uh, electric vehicles. So, so there is some uh, demand uh, on that front. That said, the Hong Kong example is very important. When those incentives left the market, 
uh, we've seen sales plummet in terms of uh, Teslas uh, in Hong Kong. So at the end of the day, the incentives play a huge part in the electric vehicle market uh, in China. All right, thank you so much for your insights. James Chow, Asia Pacific Managing Director at IHS Automotive.